Hello guys, what is up? I am the FF 121 and welcome to episode 10 of my playthrough of Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Nintendo Game Boy Color. Last time, I continued challenge mode with World 5 and all of its records, Yoshi eggs, and score goals. In this episode, it's time to take out World 6, and in my opinion, probably the most annoying world to get all the collectibles in. If you guys are hyped for more Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. Deluxe here on the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for our content if you're new, and ring that bell to get for any time we'll on the channel. The last episode on the card, top right. Anyways, let's get into it. World 6 1. And run out of the gate, do not run forward because there are two hidden blocks that lead up to the Yoshi egg. The only Yoshi, one of the few Yoshi eggs that you will find before any red coin in the level. Quite interesting. I'm gonna kill the leg too. That hit him. That um, if the core block right there actually has nothing of value, as you'll see in a moment. As I grab myself the first red coin, and right here, if I hit this infinite coin block, which actually has spawned out of nowhere, that is our second red coin. Right here, there is a hill that gives you a guide to a hidden block, which leads to our third red coin. I'm gonna grab myself a fire flower as I head to the fourth red coin. And right here, I recommend this. As you jump into the lag 2, purposely get hit. Because this is where the final red coin is located. Very cruel, because the game is actually forcing you to become small. And the problem is, if the lag 2 spawns a spiny at the worst position, you could get hit while you get that final red coin. Which is why I consider this level probably one of the worst levels to get all the achievements in. Um, and even from just getting all the um the red coins, I still managed to get the score goal. That's actually because of all the hidden the not hidden blocks, all of the co infinite coin blocks that you actually get to uh, uh, take advantage of. On to world six two, and right out of the gate, go inside this pipe because the first red coin is in plain sight. There's an info coin ball right there, we can take advantage of later. Once we do the score goal, that is. Let's come up here. Uh, more of these uh, Koopas and uh, Buzzy Beetles to get advantage of this of getting points. And right here, get ready for the most annoying uh, Yoshi egg in the game. You see that row of blocks? Well, get a running start. There's our Yoshi egg. You're supposed to get that... I actually was trying to find this for the longest time. It, it, honestly, it took me forever to find that one. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Um, the next two red coins are in somewhat plain sight. And by plain sight, I mean hidden under blocks that are not in the pipe uh, pipe area. So there's that. The Starman we can take advantage of. And then right here is our fourth red coin. And the final red coin is inside this pipe. Now, this big Luigi or Mario, it can be a bit tricky to get this uh, particular red coin, as I'll show right now. Watch this. Ta-da! Honestly, the slide is not hard to do, but if you're not really used to it, you might have to get hit in order to, well, take advantage of it. Also, to get, speaking of taking advantage, I wonder... Okay, no. Maybe a bit tricky to get the infinite points right there, but I'll try. I'll see if I can do it on my second run. If I could pull it off, that actually might be one of the best runs I could uh, done on this level. Nice. Nearing a million points. Yikes. Now to everyone's most hated level, most likely World Six Three. I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it, honestly. Now, most of the records are actually in plain sight, like this one right here. And... Oh, actually, a little bit uh, uh, out of sight there. Hang on! Ooh, I knew that I didn't have no momentum. There we go, much better. And then right here, jump down here because... There's our second red coin! Play where the Tita Tile is, jump to our third red coin. Let's, let's activate the Bully Bills at the same time. Right here, you want to be very careful with this jump. And right here, I believe... There we go, there's our Yoshi egg. And this last red coin is pretty cruel. 
That is what you're supposed to do. But there is a hidden block right there to allow you to get back up. Just remember, they do expect you to try and get all the fireworks on the t um, right here, or the top of the flagpoles at that. So it makes sense that they give you a leeway. Bam! Nearing a million or actually, I, I, I did mention it before, but honestly it's quite crazy that we're close to that. And now finally, World 6-4! And the Yoshi A, believe it or not, is actually the start of the level right here. Very simple. I'm in trouble. Tch. I actually couldn't jump down, that's why. You can see right there that there's a very small win opportunity to get that. Always remember to keep yourself big. Large and in charge, if I do say so myself. There's a second rank coin. This next rank coin is gonna be paused a little bit because it's right there. And none of these actually um, have the rank coin. There's the four rank coins right there. And I don't care! Oh! Oh! That was close. Haha! <laughs> you actually can jump onto that platform. It's just that unfortunately I took my time getting to. Uh, getting there. That's why I wasn't able to jump up. Yeah, the score goal for this level is pretty lenient, I'll say that. You know, now that I'm more to think about it, I think that goal of 780,000... No. Actually, wait, does that even make sense? No, it would have been 740,000, I think about it, if they did that. Because I assume that the red hut happens at 70%, but I might be wrong when I say that, so don't quote me on that. Alright, Mario, show me how you do it. Round again, you can probably tell with the 2,000 points on the Yoshi egg, it's worth to get this. It's also worth to get this. Any um, info coin block, you might as well take advantage of because they do help a lot in terms of getting the a lot of points, basically. To be honest, I thought that wasn't going to be viable, but it turned out that uh, I was wrong. Ooh, I thought that I timed that one split second too late. There we go. As you can tell, very simple run that actually is the same run as the coin run. I'll be honest, I thought that I wasn't able to utilize that final infinite coin block. But it turns out, if you're able to consistently get hit while stomping on the Lakitu, it actually is... Worth it to try and go for it. Now it's World 6 2. And this one I'll say is Infinite Coin Block Galore. Round again, this one, right here. Cooper right there. Watch, I lost a coin right there because I did stall the jumping right there. That's fine, no biggie. Again, any Koopa or Buzzy Beetle that you see, quickly find a time to stop on them so you can get your points. Now, I should clarify right the gate. Um, even though I only stopped it at once, they actually do keep giving points as long as you're able to. Um, keep stomping on them. So it actually is worth if you want to, to just grind on one of them just to get your points. Alright, let's see if I mess up this one. Mm, 
There we go. There we go! Um, I think this is the thing, right? No, there isn't. Yeah, I'm ready to end the level. But yeah, honestly, worth it to get the, the, those bonus points compared to any other part of the level. Ah, I thought I could do it. I thought I could do it. I might try that off screen just to see if I can get it, but I doubt it's possible to get the infinite co uh, points right there at the end. I mean, I will try, but very unlikely. But even despite that blunder, look at how many points I gained on this level compared to my first run. Crazy. Hmm, I don't think I will exceed a million points in this um, episode, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh. Trat, really? Ugh. Did I mention that you really need to get know the timing on these uh, um, springs? Because if I didn't, then there you go, there's your proof. There we go. The reason why I want to jump there is because I want to get the coins out here. There's our second red coin right there I can grab. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna risk something. There we go. I knew it was worth the risk, and indeed it was. Uh, this one's also worth it. Oh, I thought I didn't have enough momentum there for there, honestly. Oh! That one I timed a split second too late. Ah. Uh, disappointing. Absolutely disappointing. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Oh, uh, actually, if I had gotten that, I would have actually reached a million points on this episode. Uh, that's a huge bummer. Uh, that's fine. I think the point run is going to be very similar to the, um... Mm, yeah, not worth it to try and even go for that, honestly. It's too risky. Fine. Yeah, honestly, very similar run to the earlier run I did. In fact, this run might be worse off than the other one. I think. Oh no, just slightly better. Okay, sure. But yeah, very similar to the um, the, the previous run that Luigi did. Not much difference. And with that, that is all of World 6 cleared. Just to getting all the badges, just to getting all the collectibles. We are very close to the end of the challenge mode, guys. Next time on Super Mario Brothers uh, Deluxe, we'll take on World 7. Now, if you thought World 6 was annoying, oh, getting ready for World 7. Thank you guys so much for watching, but remember, the Dread Rush is real. This is the Epidemic 121 signing out, and I'll catch you guys in episode 11 of my playthrough of Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Peace.